waiting for? Hello everyone, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover, and welcome to Let's Play The Incredibles. Now, this... I've... Okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so I can fit hear myself think, but... I... I've been wanting to do this game for quite some time now. Um... This is... This has been... Or this is one of the first, um... Licensed games I've played, and it actually gave me with a decent first impression because you know I really, really do like The Incredibles, and and the this game I think there's a, there's some problems with like um, balancing difficulty and all that, but I I I think it's a decent game, especially especially considering it's a licensed game and all that. One thing though, before I before we get into this, I'm going to be skipping all the um, cutscenes that, that are cut straight from the movie just to avoid ha getting any copyright strikes or anything. So, if you get annoyed or frustrated that I'm skipping cutscenes, then that's why. I don't want to. I, I I don't want to risk anything bad from happening, you know. So, yeah, hope you guys understand. Any anyways though. Just make a new file. And if I'm not mistaken, we start with a movie sequence. Or not. Huh. It might happen after this load screen, but... We'll see. Yep, 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 yep. No, that, that's a movie sequence. Yeah, you had, just get, you had to get used to uh, cutscenes being skipped, unfortunately, but when we get into in-game stuff, it's fine. It's fine. But as you would expect, we start off with playing Mr. Incredible. So. And in, in his nice little blue super suit outfit, I guess. You get your you get your um, red outfit a little bit later in the game, about halfway, I believe. Uh, anyways, though, I should probably explain some of the controls here. If you press, if you hold R, like if you hold it a little bit or all the way down, you crouch like this. You can't move, unfortunately, but you can roll around. This can be really helpful in certain boss fights and and avoiding enemy attacks sometimes. So there's that. You can also jump really high if you just press. Press A when you're standing still. B is your general, like, combo attack, I guess. And Y is an interesting attack, because when you uh, press Y, it's like this strong strong punch, you see? But when once you get these a certain item, uh, lines will appear on your Incredibles icon up in the top left corner, and the more, and the higher, and the more lines you have on that bar, the stronger your attack, your Y attacks will be. So you don't, you can't, you don't just do a stronger punch like that. You can also jump and press it, and you do like a slam on the ground. You pick people, people up, uh, hold Y, I believe, and you swing them around, and stuff like that. So it's one of those moves where you, the more, um, the, well, the higher your bar is, the create, the stronger your attacks will be, and it's one of those. Yeah, that, that incredible item is is what makes the bar increase. But it's one of those items where you can kind of experiment with and have some fun with, you know. And I mean, you the better you are, or like the better you combo enemies, I should say, will give you like good grade and all that. But yeah, it, that will also increase the incredible bar. Um, like, you can just be generic and just use the, um, what was it, the, um, thingy. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Um, you can just be generic and just get the incredible bars, uh, incredible items, but killing enemies and without having the, uh, the, f the thing disappear, like the whole showtime thing and all that, It'll keep making the bar go up, so if you keep having that 
go on for a while, you'll just keep increasing the bar. But it, it does have a limit, so... Yeah, you can't, you can't just keep building it up forever. But yeah, there, there are quite a decent amount of hidden collectibles in this game, as I've collected, like, two or so. Um, and also, the when you saw that, um, that little disc come up on the bottom right of the screen, that's basically your save icon. So when you die, you're going to restart at that checkpoint, so... And also, you can hold R and press B to do a little uh, swipe, I guess. So, th there's that. Uh, but yeah, it, it, this game doesn't really start off too difficult, but it really, really gets difficult not too far off, actually. it's Again, it, it's not too good in terms of balancing the, dif the difficulty spikes. Because, like, when you go to the second or third level with Mr. Incredible, the difficulty spikes way up, and it's pretty ridiculous. So... And also, this is another interesting mechanic. When Once you see those things, just go to where the uh, circle thing is on the floor. Hold A until until you go back as far as you can and let go. Yeah. Unlike the uh, sequel, uh, Rise of the Underminer, there's more... This game is definitely more platform heavy than Rise of the Underminer is, because in that game it's definitely more of, of a beat em up kind of game. Which is. which kind of actually works better considering this. I think this style does work well for a beat em up. Um, a basic beat em up, sure, but still. It, it, I think it still works. But, um, yeah, th it, this game does have a lot more platforming than Rise of the Underminer, and it. It generally works okay, but when it requires you to do really uh, precise things, or when enemies are really obnoxious, it kind of becomes irritating, and you'll eventually find out find out about that stuff. But yeah, pr yeah. <laughs> yeah, just press X to grab like these, or like really anything. Alright. But yeah, the, your, the, another thing with your eye icon thing is that the red parts on the sides are your health. Once once all of that turns blue, you're dead. So be careful with that. And the... Uh, you, you probably expect this, but the... The plus things with the... Um, with the red and green uh, bars around it a lot the, the, like these things here. Alright, where, where, what's going on here? Why are these guys just appearing all the time? Oh! Right, I see. They just, do they just keep coming back? No, they just disappear, disappear after you do that. Okay. But yeah, the, um... The items that have the Incredibles icon, the not the uh, one that builds up the the gauge, but you, you'll you'll know when you see one. Like it's not like this. It's like it's di it's differently coloured. Um, those are basically your collectibles for the game. They're not mandatory by any stretch of the imagination, but they're basically there to unlock things like artwork and extra scenes from the movie. I'm not going to be showing those off. Just, just because I don't want to be copyright striking once again, but yeah. There's another thing you can do. You press Y and grab them off the ledge, or throw them off the ledge rather. So that's pr that's pretty cool. Die! Yeah. Oh man. Right there we go. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game, so I might be a little yeah, this unlocked a bonus item. So that could be a that could be artwork or it could be a bonus movie or something. So Yeah. The 
it's a little bit sloppy, in, the combat is a little bit sloppy when you try to run and fight, but hey. It's, again, this is pretty, this is actually kind of decent for a movie licensed game in my opinion, so, eh. Like, it, it does have problems, but it's not like a bad game, at least I think so. I, I wouldn't say so, anyway. There is one level that we'll uh, get to in the latter half of the game where that really, really does kind of suck. That's one part of the game that I, I really just don't like at all. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. This is a section of the game where doing this or ducking can really help because it, it can help you avoid getting shot by this guy. So, and when you do this... It's like a general thing from beat em -ups. you just get an object and keep mashing a button and, into it until you open a door you you fall, make fall, something fall over like this. But yeah, I think this is actually the last part of the stage right here, so all we have to do is kill these guys. Ow. Just basically just kill all these guys, that's all you need to do, because there's nowhere else to go, so... Ah, come on. They want you to throw the, my the grenades back at them, so... But here's the thing, when if they land on you, then they just blow up, and they also detonate after a while, so... You have to be kind of quick. But you have to... You, you have to use the, the bombs against them. If you're going up against a flying enemy. At least with Mr. Incredible. I think with um, Elastigirl, you can just use your uh, stretchy arms or whatever. But not with this guy. <laughs> you, have to, you have to throw them back. And... Come on. Throw your bomb. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Yeah, I, yeah, I had to kill this guy. Then the icon will appear, I think. Yep. Yep. Oh well, it'll, it'll just fall over. All right, there we. And the end of the level is just over here. Woo! -hoo! And there we go. So it's a pretty. Uh, easy short level uh well it's not really short that took 10 minutes but it's a pretty uh easy beginner level though it could be a little bit toned down in some sections maybe but i think for the most part that's just me uh not playing this game for years because i literally haven't played this game for eight for uh quite a long time i, I don't know ex the exact details but hey yeah Alright, so you play as Elastigirl here, and basically, it, it's like, you grab onto like poles like this, and you swing around, and it's basic gameplay with stretchy arms. Not really, I guess you can kind of compare it to the Werehog, in the sense that you're climbing onto poles with your arms and stuff like that, but it, it controls completely differently from that game, so... Yeah. Yeah. The th the thing with Elastigirl though is that, um, unlike with Mr. Incredible, where you can just keep people like you can hold on to people, you have to throw them right away. You can't. I don't think there's any way to prolong that. Maybe you, if you hold the expert. Okay, I'm gonna try that actually. Yeah. No, you can't prolong that. At no matter how hard you try. So. Yeah, her, her combat is actually a lot better than Mr. Incredible, because you can be a lot more uh, her flexible, if you catch my drift. And, um... She feels just better suited for combat, in my opinion. And there you go. It does feel really awesome to do stuff like that. 
And like the first level, throw the enemy at the door. Or at something, or rather. And there we go. I'm not going to be going for all the collectibles and, st and stuff just to make it so the playthrough doesn't go on for ages. Though I do believe there's at least three, three items in every stage. I could be wrong, but I don't know, <laughs> honestly. And there are some interesting platforming uh, platforming uh, parts with these stages as well, because you do a little bit of jumping, you uh, you climb, well you use your uh, stretchy arms to grab on those lamp things and just stuff like that. All those lights, you know. <laughs> oh crap. Or, or you can just fail like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what I prefer overall, but I I definitely say that uh, Elastigirl has the has the more probably the more interesting com uh, platforming, but I might change my mind as we go go through the latter half of the game because the levels do get more interesting with the with Mr. Incredible. The uh, Dash and Violet only have a couple levels actually. Dash only has two, and Violet only has one, and that one sucks. And they have one where in the where they're in the shield. But other than that, that's all the levels they have. It's mainly Mr. and Mrs. Incredible here. So are you ever gonna die? Alright, there we go. I'm just holding R just to be safe. Oh. Yeah, you have to swing over there. If you touch those that electric electrified water, you're dead. <laughs> Straight out. What you have to do here, don't touch that. Is throw them at that generator, I guess, and wait until it dies out. Or blows up rather. Yeah, uh, I guess I should talk a little bit about how I feel about The Incredibles as a movie because I, I really do. I am quite a big fan of Pixar. Like I, I'm really looking forward to The Incredibles 2 movie movie coming out in 2017 or 18, I think it is. And um, I don't know. I, I'm interested to see like what they do because like I think Incred Incredibles one was a really good movie. Um, it's just one of those films I can always just go back to and have a good time with. Like, uh, it's one of those childhood classics you just you just enjoy every time you see it. You know. I, maybe I'll maybe we should do a, a movie commentary for it at some point because it was well, for C's brain. I'm not doing it alone because that'll be pretty boring. But um, was it C's? I've been wanting to do movie commentaries with C's brain for a long time now so it would definitely be one of the top choices for movie uh, comms so yeah one day I'd, I'd love to do it one day and I died <laughs> uh. yep they are okay oh that would be so funny if I just got banged into the water. Oh yeah, you can actually grab people twice, so you just throw them at something and throw them again. I actually forgot about that. Like this. Well, that happened, so it didn't work, but... Alright, let's try this again. And that happened, because... Oh, screw it. Yeah, I, I think the flying enemies are too weak to do that. Now one, uh, one, not enemy, uh, one character you can't play as in this game, but you can in the sequel is, um, Frozone, um, oh, wow, you won't be able to play as Frozone in this game at all, so, you won't be freezing anyone, and it was flashing for some reason there.
There we go. You chasing me? What's he doing? <sighs> he was trying to get me, but it didn't work. Like, I could see him desperately trying to find a way to get to me. But, um, nah. But yeah, it's funny how movie licensed, game, movie licensed games are infamous for being pretty crappy, when this game is actually not that bad. Like, it, it definitely has problems, as I said. The difficulty spikes are just stupid sometimes. But, I don't... Wait, what? Yeah, okay. Yep. Come on. What do I grab onto? Come on. There should be a thing coming up. Hello. There we go. What? There we go, that was weird. I guess I wasn't in the right uh, location or something, but hey. Uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think of the Incredibles down below if you... If it is a... If you have, like, watched it and it is a childhood uh, memory of yours. Or, even, if you, even if you don't really care for it, tell me why, because... I, 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 I'm not gonna yell at you or anything, but I'd just be curious to see what you what you think. You know, you can't please everyone, so. And you die. Nice. Yeah, no, I'm just getting away from you guys, and that, I think that's it, yeah. Freezing through. <laughs> and then she just kind of stays there. <laughs>